Eat this. yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The demons appeared from nowhere, 
Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then? Silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator! Bless you, Wanderer! Bless us all! As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the Great Journey can resume. I'll sit tight. Morning. That antler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, antler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, antler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Who is antler? Who is antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler? Hmm. Captain once. Last name Davison. First name... Don't remember. I commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's elite. A great honor. Very proud. Something happened. 
We wandered the desert. Life without master was hard. The others' minds going strange, going crazy. But then I found us new master. I found us Antler. Since then, everything's been going really well. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You mean the ones upstairs? Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my kin. Cut it out, human. Serious final warning. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right, a, a piece of paper, shipment invoice, hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room, one we don't search yet, the one we can't search. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. things out there. Who the hell are you? And I bet he told you it's the Creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those...